I'd like to welcome you to our third time at an attempt to give an introduction for this Thursday <laughs> evening prayer service. Um, you know the routine by now. We're going to sing a couple songs and then we're going to pray. We actually have a new song today. If you've been listening to Christian radio, you're probably uh, familiar with it. If you're not, I, it's a pretty easy song, great song. You'll pick it up um, by the end. And this possibly could be our last Thursday evening prayer service. One of the things that we're going to be praying over for sure is not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday. We're looking at uh, firing church back up. So we're just asking God to, uh, to keep us safe, keep us healthy, keep that coronavirus out of this area so that we can get back to seeing and, and praising God in person. So let's start this evening by praising God. Stop. 
stop working, never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you
will see on this list a, a lot of the um, usuals that we're praying for. We're also going to make sure to be uh, praying for um, church as we're planning on opening, uh, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Just praying that everyone is safe as we continue to pray for the, the whole nation um, to, to be kept safe from this virus. A um, couple things to let you know about. Uh, we have a big praise for Alan Gilmore. He's, uh, he's 90 years old and had this uh, uh, successful heart surgery, which they said he did great during. They, uh, they, they think uh, that it was a successful surgery and he should be able to come home in the next couple of days. Uh, Emmett Maley had his surgery this past week and he's already made it home to the house. Um, they had a little problems with the, the incision keeping it closed, but uh, everything is good and he's recovering at home now. We'll also be praying for Adam this week, as Adam has been battling a, a fever with a headache, and they're just trying to figure out precisely what it is that is going on. So those are the things that we're going to pray for, in addition to some of the ones that, that, that we've been praying for on a weekly basis. So please pray with me, if you would. Dear God, we come before you again, God, just uh, appreciative to be in your presence, appreciative to have this means to be able to talk to you, God, and uh, I thank you that we were able to start by praising your name, God, so that we always don't come as a bunch of spoiled children who are only asking for things, God. God, we do ask, but we ask that out of love. We ask that because you are our Father and we are your children. And you desire to, to be there and care for your children, God, and we need that. God, our, our nation needs that right now. We need that love of, of our Father. We need the guidance of our Father God. So many people are in so many different directions and seem to be coming at each other, God. And we need, we need you to be found in the midst of all of this, God. We need people to begin to, to turn to you, to seek your face, to find your answers, God, for you have them all. And allow us as Christians, God, um, not to be salt in a wound, God, but uh, be light to the world. Not a flashlight shining in their eyes, God, but, but a light to light the way to you, to your son, to your love, God. God, we pray that as our church is uh, beginning to, uh, to get ready to, to start meeting back up, we ask that you would uh, continue to speak to us. Just uh, affirm that this is the, uh, the right time, the right place, God. Um, if it's not, we do submit to your will, although we honestly will be kind of uh, upset, God, we trust you. God, so we ask that you would uh, lead us, continue to lead us, keep us safe, keep us healthy, help us to make wise choices, and allow our hearts just to be filled with the possibility of meeting with our family and friends in our building to worship our Father, God. God, we pray for those on this list who have been battling uh, cancer. We ask that you would hold the cancer at bay for, for many of them, God. We pray for Stacy Martin and Tracy Rankin. For Michelle Stitt, and we pray for uh, little Noah, um, who's fighting leukemia, God. Just help them in their individual situations, push those cancers back. We also lift up Ray Gilmore, um, God, we thank you that your hand has been at work. We, we praise you for all of the things that we can praise you for, and we just ask that you will continue to, uh, to move that in a positive direction. God, we pray for Adam as he's battling this fever and this headache. Just allow it to either go away through your healing, or let the doctors know specifically um, what it is and if there's anything we need to do about it. God, we thank you for Emmett's successful surgery. We thank you for Alan's successful surgery, and we ask that you would help them both to continue to recover, God. God, we pray that as we leave this place, God, that we would be your servants, that we would extend your love and your care to all of those around us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for praying with us.